Happy Mother's Day. I am so excited to wish mothers around the world Happy Mother's Day. This is the most unusual Mother's Day because we're responding to um, global pandemics. We're responding to uh, situations in the moment that we have to transition in relative to the sign of the times. And, and we're just responding to our, what our family needs are, what our personal needs are. And it takes a mother, it takes a real mom in Christ to know how to handle her business. Help me, Holy Ghost. So I'm telling you, this is not a time to live in shock. We live under the shadow of the Most High God. Hallelujah. And God has already given us uh, his supernatural relief, my God. Uh, and he's given us a hiding place in him. And he is our protector. I want to read Psalm 91, 1 to 4. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay, so, so we're not living in shock. We're living under the shadow of of the Most High God. We have our abiding place in Christ already. Hallelujah. Verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and he is my fortress. My God in him I will trust. In Psalm 91, it talks about him being our deliverer. It, it talks about the fact that we can trust God and we can hide in Christ. We can hide in God and he protects us and he shields us, my God, when we don't even know that he's protecting us. I love God for that. And surely, verse 3, surely, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, surely he will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. And he shall cover thee with the feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And as women of God, we are supernatural women of God. Hallelujah. We don't live in shock, but we live under the shadow of the most high God. And his truth, his truth shall be our shield and buckler. Not your truth, not my truth. Only the truth that's in the word of God can protect us uh, and keep us and guard us in all circumstances and situations. I want to wish a happy Mother's Day to mothers around the world, church mothers uh, who keep secrets that they can only tell God. Church mothers, my God. Mothers who are first ladies uh, who must guard their husbands back. Oh, that's a mother. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, mothers who are in the fivefold ministry that have to keep focused in Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to you today, Mama. Hallelujah. Mothers who are caregivers. I was a caregiver. I know what it takes uh, to be a caregiver, to be a mother, to be a wife. I know what it means. Uh, and mothers who have passed away. I honor moms uh, who have gone on to be with the Lord. Uh, and I honor your mom if she's not with you right now. How am I? Oh, my God. And mothers who have lost children, that's the pain that only God can take away. And, and But if God would allow uh, your child to come through your womb, he trusted you enough with that soul. He trusted you enough with that child. Oh, God, help us on today. And mothers, my God, who have stepped in the role of mothering others, my God, uh, taking care of somebody else's children, you are a mother to be honored. And mothers who are surrendering to new adjustments, my God, without being ready for change. God has given you the capacity to change in Christ. He's given you the capacity to remain flexible in troubled times. You have uh, the capacity to remain flexible in adversity. Oh, my God. And mothers who live in global war zones, I pray for mothers, my God, who are in Ukraine and other areas of the world who have lost children who are hiding in shelters, my God, oh God, help us. Uh, I pray for mothers who are living in global war zones, my God, and mothers who are unemployed but still know how to make ends meet. Oh, I honor you today. You have the capacity to bring things together that looks like nothing. It, it looks like you used it. You didn't have anything to work with, but you worked it out. You didn't have anything to work with, but you worked it out. 
and mothers who are incarcerated, my God, or who have loved ones who are incarcerated, mothers who are incarcerated. I used to work in prison ministry. I know firsthand about mothers who have been incarcerated, and we have to bless them. They're looking for authenticity. They're looking for you to be real. Uh, they're, they're, they're not looking for fakes. They're looking for real mothers to relate to them because they already know how it is. And, and children who are incarcerated, they have children, and if you have a child that's incarcerated. I just need you to keep praying and keep trusting God. Keep praying and keep trusting God. And mothers who are facing emotional trauma uh, through mental and, 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 and physical health. Oh my God. I pray for mothers who who, uh, who've who had nervous breakdowns and, and mothers that are just overwhelmed. I pray for mothers that God would strengthen you by his might that would send people across your path uh, to speak words of encouragement to you. And mothers who have turned to drugs to sedate their reality. This is so real and trying times. So I pray for mothers. I pray for mothers, uh, oh my God, to seek the Lord. Trust God no matter what you're going through. You don't have to sedate your reality to deal with reality. You need Jesus. I pray for you today. My God, Father, I thank you for these mothers today. Remember, mothers have had to make unusual, uncomfortable adjustments while the Lord is shaking the nations and, and while this global pandemic continues. We've had to make adjustments and we can make those adjustments through Christ. I encourage you as a mother, you have what it takes. You've got everything that you need to be whatever you need to be. And I want to encourage you and bless you and wish you a happy Mother's Day. God bless you and thank you.